Hey guys, so with the new NVIDIA GPUs out, you may be looking for a monitor. That's probably the most crucial link to the entire process of gaming because it doesn't matter if you have even a 5090, if your monitor is not looking too good, it's really not gonna be up to par with those type of GPUs, especially if you have like an older monitor with a lower refresh rate. So today we're gonna take a look at a monitor. Um, this is gonna be from Titan Army. They recently sent me this to review. This is gonna to be a 31.5 inch or commonly people just call it a 32 inch display this is going to be 2k which is 1440p which is i think the ideal resolution i'm going to tell you why and 240 hertz refresh rate this is going to be very important because even mid-range gpus nowadays in a lot of games can actually reach pretty high refresh rates and frames per second especially if you're going to be using something like nvidia's dlss3 or dlss4 with the multi-frame generation you definitely want to have as big of a headroom as possible for these type of, of games. So now first, let's talk about the Titan Army monitor. I've reviewed their monitors before in the channel. They're all is really, really excellent. And this one, I've been using it for quite a while as well. So this is gonna be, like I said, about 32 inches, 240 Hertz. Those are gonna be like the key specs. So I'm gonna discuss what I think about 27 inches compared to 32, compared to even around 24, 25 inches in a second. But then this monitor also has a curved screen. Some people like the curve, other people don't as much, but I think at 32 inches, the curved screen certainly gives you a little bit more immersion and the size is big enough where I think it makes certainly a lot of sense. And even some of the 32 inch panels, like some of the OLED panels are also gonna be a little bit curved. Not all of them, but some of them are curved. So I happen to like that as well. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, vip-cdkdeals.com, a Windows Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate and now let's go back to the video. Like I said, it's 2K, which is about 2560 by 1440. And the curve is about 1500R, which really isn't that big of a, of a deal. I think it works perfectly with this monitor. Um, this is gonna be a frameless VA panel, of course, and it does support HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 1.4, and it is HDR 400. Um, which you could definitely, it does have HDR 400 support, which is great for games that have maybe a little bit more color. First, let me tell you why I think 32 inches is actually the ideal size. I've used everything from like the 25 inch uh, monitors to the 27 inch monitors that really became very, very popular. For a long time, 27 inch was like the high end enthusiast type of size until 32 inches came around. You could see even some of the newer, really expensive monitors are gonna be about 32 inches. I think that's the ideal size because first, it isn't really like like massive, like it doesn't take up a huge amount of footprint on your desk, so that's not really a problem, but it does give you a considerable, you know, larger viewing area, and usually, you know, the viewing angles are also gonna be a little bit better since it's a bigger monitor. Uh, this particular monitor does have some pretty good viewing angles as well. So the larger size just makes it more immersive. In my opinion, when you start to go like way bigger than 32 inches, like I used to play on a 42 inch OLED, like on a desk, that was a little bit too big. And if you like ultra wide at 34 inches, that's different because at least then it's being sort of dispersed a little bit more, it's more immersive. But I think for a traditional monitor that's not like an ultra wide, 32 inches is certainly the sweet spot. And the 2K resolution, it's a great mix because you have enough resolution there where it still looks sharp, it still looks crisp. And most importantly, it's not gonna tax your GPU all that much because I mean, nobody can get a 5090, for example, and even 4090s are still very expensive. So to max out uh, a 4K panel, for example, that especially the 240 hertz one is very, very difficult. Even a 4090 on some games will have trouble. 
So when you're talking about a 2K resolution, much easier to drive. You can even play even with like an RTX 3080, 3070. And in many cases, if you tweak some of the settings, like on an older game, you'll be absolutely fine. It's only when you reach the newer games that are like, uh, you know, ray tracing and they need DLSS 4, for example, that can bring even the 5090, not to its knees, because that's a very powerful GPU, but at least bring it back down to reality. Um, that's why I think the 2K resolution, I think many of you will agree, 2K is certainly the sweet spot. Obviously, for enthusiasts and if you have a really powerful GPU, uh, nothing wrong with 4K if your graphics card can drive it. Um, but certainly, there is more of a performance penalty when you actually have to go to that resolution. Um, at 2K, it's a sweet spot because you do have some CPU bottlenecks at 2K, of course. If you're running even a 4090, obviously with the 5080, um, you know, 5090, those GPUs, you're going to have CPU bottlenecks because they're so powerful. But for most graphics cards, the CPU is going to be more than fine um, as long as you have something that's pretty acceptable. I think most people, especially gaming enthusiasts, have kind of jumped over to the X3D CPU. So those are are all going to be fine from the 5800 x3d 7800 9800 9800 x3d any of those probably any of the, uh, the ryzen chips that are you know a little bit more modern from the you know 7000 series 9000 series obviously the intel stuff like you know 13900 case all those do high refresh rate really well and they're going to do whatever gpu that you have as long as it's not a 5090 for that you're going to need obviously the fastest CPU that you can get, and then you're still going to be bottlenecked. Same thing with the 4090 at 2K for many games. Not all games, but for many games. Uh, so going back to the, the monitor, I think this is a really, really good package. I mean, if you consider that a lot of these, you know, 32-inch monitors on the market, the really high-end ones, you know, they're very expensive. A lot of them are still well over $1,000. So this one comes in considerably cheaper. This one comes in considerably cheaper, like under $400 usually. Like now it's on sale for like $329, $330. It can vary depending when you watch the video, but certainly that's a lot more affordable than spending, you know, $1,200 or $1,300 plus on some of these monitors that are still 32 inches. Some of them are 2K, some are 4K. And while, yeah, they may be different technology, they might be OLED, the diminishing returns after you already have a pretty decent monitor like this, you definitely start to get some pretty big diminishing returns for like, you know, three or four times the price. Of course, those monitors are going to be objectively different and better in many cases because they're three or four times the price and they have different technology. But if you want something that's going to be more in your budget and still a great experience, something like this is fantastic. I'm going to leave the link down below for this Titan Army 32-inch monitor. Let me know what you guys are planning to use if you're getting the new GPUs or what type of monitor setup you have now. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.